This is a video on the review of the Mybo selfie stick. Now this is a mini selfie stick. Um, now this selfie stick I bought off uh, Amazon for £10.79 off Amazon. Now it's a very small mini compact selfie stick but before we uh, look into it I'll just take you around the box um, just take you a little tour around the box obviously it has mini selfie stick written on the front same again mini selfie stick handheld as a mini hand handheld at ease that's what it's got written on there on the other side it, we have a barcode and in Chinese the particular color boxes for the particular colors that they do and this one's got a tick box for black on the back it's written again mini selfie stick and on the side here we have the European codes and that and the same thing again what's little boxes to claim what's in the box uh, etc now the weight of this selfie stick is 120 grams if you want to know what the weight is it is a Bluetooth remote control selfie stick um, as a 5 volt to a 2 amp DC output and um, the battery inside it is a 55 milliamp battery that's in there and uh, stainless steel construction for the stem obviously the body is plastic uh, etc and it can take up it has a vertical and hor uh, horizontal um, uh, um, positioning for the camera that i.e. you can have it in either landscape or portrait mode uh, for your camera uh, for your phone sorry um, it does have a three point it is like a sorry quarter of an inch um, screw mount on the bottom so you can connect it to a tripod um, if you so wish now it can take up to small phones and large phones such as the notes and the iPhone um, XS's and pluses so it can take up to large phones and it's suitable for all kinds of phones as long as it's got Bluetooth uh, connection on there so let's go into the box <clears throat> and what we get in the box and what we get in the box is a small micro USB uh, to USB uh, uh, one, uh, cable, sorry, uh, for charging it. So that's what you get. And we get an instruction booklet, uh, which is written in English so, and in other languages. So that's okay. So we get an instruction booklet. And now we get the the selfie stick itself and as you can see the selfie stick folds down to roughly and I'll just use that always use that as me inches roughly one two three about three and a half inches long this is really compact very very compact um, selfie stick now it folds out Oh God, that's it. It folds out this way. So this is the top of the selfie stick here. We have a button here, which is the on off button and also the pairing button. Um, that is not a button working button as such. So that is blanked out. And we have at the bottom here, this is for the lanyard, which you don't get, but you can connect, uh, sorry, not for your lanyard. This is where you connect it in to charge it. So you use the micro USB here. Get that into focus. And we charge it that way in. So that's to charge it. We have a three 
we sorry, I keep saying 3.5 mil. This is a screw thread, quarter inch screw thread for the tripod or for your tripod. Or if you want to screw on one of those screw on lanyards, you can put it through there. Um, at the top now, we have this part here holds the phone and the other part here folds out. So this is stationary, this part moves and it's on a spring loaded design. Now let's, just before we, it clips in, as you can hear. When you're charging this, you'll see a light appear here. Now it is very hard in the daylight to see that light. It is really hard. I've tried uh, looking at it, it's very hard. You have to tend to cover your, put your hands over it while it's like that. Just as you're charging it, about to charge it, to see the light in here. And what it happens is, the light is red when it's charging, it will shine red. When it goes out, it is fully charged. Now, on initial charging of this unit, it took just under two hours to charge. After that, therefore, going by the instruction book, it will take an hour to charge thereafter. So the first initial charging is two hours long. I just leave it overnight, basically, on your first initial charge when you buy it. After that, you need just an hour to charge it. Now, on the demonstration of this phone, as I said, this thing is Bluetooth compatible. And on your Bluetooth, when you're gonna sync, uh, connect it, keep your finger down on this button here. This light here should supposed to go red and blue, but it's hard to see, as I said. But put your phone in discovery mode on Bluetooth, and it will come up as M1. Then you press the, then you press to connect and then the next box will come up saying to pair. You just press and it will just automatically pair with your phone. So once it's paired, that's it, it's connected. Now I'll show you how to put it, your phone into it. As I said, you lift up this piece here. That is the stationary piece, that is the moving piece. You push down that way towards you, and that's it, it clips in. Now I'll take a picture, because it's now connected, and I'll take a picture. There, it's taken the picture, I'll take another one. There, it's taken a picture. Now I'm gonna show you how it looks when it's fully extended, to see the length of it. Right, now I'll extend this out. As you can see, even like that, it's very compact. So now I'm gonna extend it out, and it extends out from within inside this body here. Right, and as you can see, it extends out to 18 and a half inches. So between that point here, just after the handle, to where the phone is, between the two points of my fingers here, it's 18 and a half inches it extends out to. Now, this is quite a good selfie stick. The only th dislike I'll, I don't like with this selfie stick is, while other selfie sticks here, on this point here, it has a, most selfie sticks will have a kind of wing nut here, so you can tighten the angle. This one has a screw. So my advice is if you buy this and you're taking it on holiday, try and get one of those cheap, tiny, small screwdrivers. And just to bring with you, just in case, because this might loosen up. And at least if you have that tight little, um, sorry, that tight, small screwdriver, you can tighten that up. It is tight at the present moment, but obviously you're, it depends how often you're gonna be using this on holiday. Um, determines whether this will wear down uh, during time on your holiday, so especially opening it and angling it. It could loosen up, so I, I, my advice is just buy a small little screwdriver, you could probably pick that up from Poundland or, or the dollar shop or whatever. You could pick that up 
um, quite cheap. And just to bring that with you, just in case this screw loosens up. Now, I'm gonna show you here, at the moment, it is in uh, landscape. To move it into portrait, you turn it, if it's facing you, you turn it to your left that way, and there it angles it as a landscape. You see, as you can see, it angles it as a landscape. And if you want it back into, sorry, in, into portrait, and if you want it back into landscape, you sing, simply push down, and then it's back into landscape. So it's landscape, out like that, it's portrait. So that's one thing I like with this, what makes it quite simple, how it can um, easily go from one to the other. I'm just gonna have a friend there, sorry about that. Uh, you can easily go from one to the other, from literally like that to like that. Very easy. As I say, it's a nice, light, um, compact um, selfie stick. It, it actually feels even lighter than the 120 grams they say they claim that this is. It feels absolutely light. So if you're looking for a nice little selfie stick, which is Bluetooth and mini, you can't go wrong with this. As I says, the only thing I wish they did do is um, that mum, Mimbo did do, instead of putting a screw here, that they actually put a um, wing nut there so you can tighten the angle as much because I think after a while that screw uh, will loosen up. But for a selfie stick uh, to take around with you, especially you ladies, um, you can't go wrong with the Mimbo and for the price, uh, for £10, it's not bad. Um, I have, uh, I have um, reviewed a previous selfie stick that my wife liked, um, which was quite small, and that was from Smart. But she liked this one because this one is just a little bit smaller than the Smart. Now I'll get the Smart to show you. That's the Smart um, selfie stick here, and I'll leave a description, um, a tag, sorry, up there on the other video on about this smart one. But as you can see, the smart is slightly taller, slightly longer. So it's slightly longer. For build quality, if you want the build quality, I'd go with the smart for build quality, but you're gonna have to use an adapter with the smart because it does not use, um, it does not use Bluetooth for the smart. But if you want a Bluetooth selfie stick, which is compact to fit into your clutch bag ladies, or for you fellas to fit into your pocket, uh, no problem, then you can go with this one, the Mimbo. Anyway, that is my video on the Mimbo mini selfie stick. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down in the comment section if you've got one of these or you're about to get one of these and tell me what you think and let the rest of YouTube know what you think. Thanks for watching.